So a lot of them or hate them. These yokes have really become a kind of a, a cult classic over, and you know their popularity has actually really surged over the last four or five years. They were a well got tractor when they were new. There's still a lot of them out doing an awful lot of work. Um, you know, in big contractor fleets, there's still nearly a couple of TMs hanging around. The blue boys love them, absolutely love them. And it is, of course, a TM-155. This one is an early model. It's uh, 2003. Came in around in, I think. Uh, it's either 2003 or 2004, this one is. So it came from Belgium. Um, it has 650s and 540s. I've yet to put the hitch on it, but four spools, hydraulic trailer brake valve. Uh, nothing else really great on the boat in the back of it, I suppose. Cab suspension, even these yokes are free. It's amazing that I went to Justin on the day yesterday, uh, which is unusual. Obviously, I need to put a bigger hitch on it, but it's no biggie. Uh, yeah, five, uh, 650s and 540s solid rims you see this an awful lot in europe i don't know what it's about really like i know our 6480 had it i've seen numerous tractors with it we'll just give a look on the inside and see like they were cut out didn't they were obviously the centers didn't match so they got you know weights off some nets or, or, or some story like that uh been unusual this thing but it was uh well made and some manufacturing on this I used to have a TM140. One problem with the 140 was on a long day's work, you had to make a phone call for diesel. This won't be a problem with this one. And the battery box, is it, the battery still sits inside there, but this is an extra diesel tank someone made for it. Um, obviously there was a diesel tank here before, but it was much smaller. But I'd say that tank is nearly bigger than its, its own one. So, it's also still inside the wheels, which is good, and you have access steps to get up there if you want it. But um, yeah, I'd say she'd take a lot of diesel to fill it now. I put about 70 litres into it the other day. I think it only brought it up like well, two bars maybe, so I, I don't know how much diesel this thing will hold. But between her own tank and this, it'll hold a hell of a lot of stuff. It's a, it also used to have auto steer on it, but... Uh, I don't know whether they kept it or not, but it's not on it now anyway. And it also has front suspension, which is quite desirable. So, nice tidy tractor. No front link, just a weight carrier. So I got this floor mat for it and I also got a seat cover. The seat is very good, but the cushion was a bit tatty, so I said I'd put a cover on it. Uh, like I said, four spools. Everything else is pretty standard on these aircon radio. Um, someone in the comments would definitely be able to let me know, I'd say, because you were able to tip me off there about the 40 series and something I didn't know. So, I'm just going to show you something here now. Right, that's not the right hours. Uh, the guy I bought it off told me it got a new dash at 4,000 hours. And this is what it has displayed since then. So, it's 5,673, which is 9,673. Now, he, when he showed me, he pressed some sequence of buttons below here. And it brought up the old hours, you know, that will say what was on the ECU before the dash was changed. And it was 4,000, so he was able to show me that, but um, maybe one of you in the comments will be able to tell me how to do that again. Because if someone comes to see it, it'll be handy to be able to show them. Uh, so that would be much appreciated if somebody in the comments would be able to do that for me. Um... I'd appreciate that. So we'll carry it for a spin, I suppose. Of course, these are, uh, what are they, seven and a half litre or something like that. So they'll 
do anything kicking over. I remember we ploughed some very difficult ground with a 140 before and I'd say she was doing under 700 RPM, pulling a four for a plough up a pretty steep hill, but uh, such low down torque in them. Of course, this one is a range command. You could get them either range or power. Some people love the ranges, some people love the powers, but I'm used to a range command anyway. I think I'd be a little bit scared of a power command. Um, you hear some horror stories about them, whereas these ones, it's kind of only really the synchros that uh, give any grief in them. And the synchros seem good in this one. There's no great in going forward or back in her at all at all. But what I would say is the cylinder head definitely needs to be done because uh, they are prone to dropping valves when they go, when they're coming up in 10,000 hours over it, so something at would want to be doing. Now whether we do it or the new new buyer does it, that's that's entirely down to price. It can be sold either way, but um, my preference would be settle it that little bit cheaper without the head done. And then of course the new owner will kind of get a more of a feel for his machine, whether he's mechanically minded himself or he is a good mechanic or something like that. Um, or if there's anything else crops its head up, they'll be able to straighten all them bits and pieces out. It's sometimes it's look, you I mean you could drive this tractor away and the head mightn't give any trouble on it for the next two, three thousand hours, but it's recommended like to do with that ten thousand hours, so that's I wouldn't be kinda happy to sell it to someone unless they were intending to do it or they got get us to do it here. But like I say, which or whether doesn't really matter, but yeah, I like them. I love it here. It's the guts. It's the guts in that seven and a half liter engine. There's not many tractors of this size will touch them to pull. Uh, funnily enough, a lot of these European ones have never got the uh, whiff of the magic spanner. And I'd say this one hasn't either. I must give a look at the adjusted screw in it, but don't think it has. We'll pull in down here and we'll give a look at that, see if we can see if it's got a sniff of it or not. Which is here. Uh, we're in neutral. We're beeping about now. In together. So our lights are all working anyway. I couldn't quite open our bonnet. Okay, the old end is perfect. Remember that lock? Cab was planned up, or I don't know, but it's not actually doing anything. And the shaft is good to try, so. Like I say, a cab spins with four spoons. The brake was done, because they're all ripped at one point. There was some work done on the transmission, I would say, because. If you look in there, see that silver pipe with the little uh, kind of canister on it? That's brand new and I, I think they have something to do with transmission pressure or something like that. So I said there was some work carried out in, on the transmission and uh, not, you know, not very, very long ago. And then the filters look pretty new and back into it as well. Or not, but here is where you increase the power. I don't know, like you can't just turn off it, but it doesn't look like the spanner marks on it or anything. And that is, uh, it's just your eyes. 
he wasn't. No, he wasn't. He still came on it there. And if you if you open them up, you increase your fueling, you need to uh, your idling goes down. So I'd say that's that's original. I don't think she's been fitted with as they say. All oh, lights working, beacons up in the roof working, suspension working. A little bit that's at them hours it's going to be a little bit like that because these are hydraulic lifters you can't set the tappets and these are little hydraulic units and each uh, con rod and they push them up and well they you know they kind of take your play out of them i suppose is what they do uh the older engines didn't have that a gray chassis wouldn't have had the hydraulic lifters they brought them out in these ones. Some lads change them back, but you have to disassemble the whole engine to change them back. You can put new hydraulic lifters in and I don't think they're that expensive. But... Oh, the damper's good in there as well. You'd hear a big crack there, or you know, it'd be rattly when you'd switch her off. So we'll head for home. Thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in this tractor, please contact me. The price, the price, I'm gonna tell you the price. The price is gonna be 30, ah, I will say 30,000 euros plus the vat. Uh, as is, if you want head done and all that kind of stuff, it's gonna cost more, but that's, as she sits this minute, obviously with a pickup hitch on it, an Irish registration on it, uh, they have to be done. But cylinder head is entirely an ex owner's choice, whether they want to do it or they want to gamble and drive it on. But my recommendation would be to do it. And like I say, whether we do it or the next person does it, that's something that I have to be spoken about. But um, yeah. So like I say, that's it from me. I'll put a, it'll be up on uh, Mr. CVX on Facebook or Wharton Agri on Facebook and you'll be able to get my number off of that. I won't put my number up on YouTube, so you can uh, hit me up on that and we'll go from there. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.